at Mobile World Congress 2018. And who are you? Andrew Roberts from ST Microelectronics. So let's start the tour of our booth with uh, the ST Experience Zone. Hello, I'm Frédéric. I will show you uh, our interactive table and we are showcasing here on the wall uh, some examples of customer products. So uh, right now you selected this one and somehow it shows yes. that your technology is inside exactly. the Note 8? Exactly. In inside the Note 8 we have gyroscope, we have uh, uh, some pressure uh, sensors, we have microcontrollers, and then thanks to the inter interactive table, you can know more about all the products we have here. Uh, so there was a hard drive just before? A hard drive, so you hard are... Drive over there uh, from Seagate, where we have yeah. power, man power yeah. management solutions. So what do you do in the hard drive? We have power management solutions provided okay. by ST, and uh, Seagate is one of one of our key customers for uh, our, our this drive. And, um, and using those uh, those elements, we can go further into uh, the ST portfolio. Here, for uh, the solution for the the touch screen, we can browse the portfolio and have more explanation on what we are doing at ST on plenty of use cases. Right. Here, we what do you do in the shoe? In the shoes, is it a step tracker? Or? It's uh, from uh, Nike. We have some uh, microcontroller and some motion memes. It's a brand new uh, shoes from Nike, and uh, we have components inside. Nice, and uh, so there's some glasses that have uh, something? Yeah, the glasses are from uh, Atoll, uh, from a French company. Yeah. We can go to the glasses there. We have a microcontroller, we have motion memes, and we have, an, have even some uh, video running for this product, and have more information. What do you do in the, in the Nintendo Switch? Nintendo, uh, we have again uh, plenty of microcontroller, motion memes, and we have also NFC, uh, our NFC solutions embedded into this component. So actually, uh, ST is selling billions and billions of chips, right? Billions of uh, components for microcontroller, connectivity solutions, power management. We have also sensors. We have uh, analog products. We have a wide, very wide portfolio of products for microelectronics. Nice. Awesome, thanks a lot. So can we can we look around your booth a little bit? Some yeah, demos? sure. Let's go and have a look at uh, an application for the smart home. This yeah. is an application which shows yeah. voice and edge computing. So, Roberto, please. Uh, hey, hi. what are you showing here? Hi, yes, we're showing a reference design of a smart home that can be controlled by voice or by gesture using sensors and actuators. So which sensors are uh, the ST sensors in here? These are all ST sensors. We have sensors that can detect gesture, time of flight uh, sensors, or sensors that can detect temperature and environmental parameters. You know, when I make a gesture, I can open or close this window with a gesture. Nice. And the system is an IoT architecture where, uh, architecture where the control is local and at the, on the cloud at the same time. So this gesture... What does it mean, the coin station? It, ha it has nothing to do with Bitcoin, no? No, it's called blue coin in this case. And it's, this, coin? it's this board, it's an Evil board with four microphones that supports advanced audio processing with which I can call Alexa, turn on the kitchen light. Just with this little, like this? Just with, with okay. this little system. It has four microphones? It has four microphones. I can use one or two or four, depending on how strong I want the interaction to be. Alexa, how old is Donald Trump? Look, Donald this. Trump is 71 years old. I thought he was 73, are you sure? Okay, that's great. So, so with this system, I can ask Alexa to do things for me. Alexa, turn off the kitchen light and the command is interpreted by the cloud and the okay. light goes off. Nice. Alexa, turn on smart home demo. Sorry, I didn't find smart home. Alexa can't find my smart home. Let's let's try again. Alexa. Oops. Alexa. So sometimes Alexa yeah. has connectivity issues, but even it's when... It's very busy right here. There's uh, difficult to connect. Alexa is you know what? On you know, a nice feature of this you system the is Alexa that app instead. whenever there is no connectivity, yeah. I can always do gesture and get an instant response because whatever happens in the cloud happens also locally in this edge computing station implementing Amazon Greengrass in this specific case. Okay. Alexa. 
Uh, Alex is sleeping. That's if okay. You, if you give me a second, I can I can ask. Uh, yeah. So what do you, what is this board here that you're rebooting? Here we are rebooting a board, uh, implementing the AVS gateway. That is the gateway allowing Alexa to interact with us. Uh, and this is based on an STM32 controller, so it's a low-cost implementation, very simple, and it could be implemented in any existing system. How long is the battery life of this the big battery? Depending on software optimization, this can last for several days. Alexa, how are you today? I'm doing great. Alexa? You know cats sometimes talk so. to me when there's nobody else around. So far I've learned one word. Meow. Alexa. Where is Ivanka Trump right now? At a White House governor's meeting, President Donald Trump said that he would have personally run into the Florida school during the shooting that occurred earlier this month, even if he were unarmed. So he Alexa once knows again Alexa knows everything, yes. Respond, and well she's helping to run our, our smart home now. Yes. Exactly Medal of Honor yes. winners. Right. Cool. cool. Let, Alexa, open smart home demo. The connection is the connection, yes, okay. yes, yes. All right. So okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. And you have a lot of other demos around here, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now let's go and have a look at uh, how our MEM speakers are yeah. revolutionizing um, headphone sound, for example. Okay. All right. So here it says actuate. Hello. Hello. So what are you showing over here? So today we are showing a demo done in collaboration with you sound. As yeah. I now said previously, uh, we are uh, manufacturing uh, MEMS uh, with ST technology, and uh, U-Sound is designing uh, tiny micro speakers. So U-Sound right here. Yes. It doing what? What is happening here? Micro speakers uh, that are uh, positioned inside the headphones. So there's many speakers. In there. Yes, seven per, uh, per ear. Ear. And what does it do? Like uh, three. 360 degree sound. So if you want those, to try. And those? Uh, things over here and there. What is going on with all that stuff? So you see that the, the sound is moving around his head. Nice. It's moving around my head. <laughs> so you can you can hear it around you. I can feel it coming, hear it coming across, see? So what more technology is in, in the in the he headphones? Uh, what, what is up here and there? Up there there is the amplifier. The amplifier? Yeah, at the moment it's a discrete uh, component, but uh, they are going to embed it in a smaller form factor. All right. So, what is the uh, Petra, Petra tec technology? is uh, the one that is used to manufacture the speakers. So there is a piezo material that is moving a membrane that emits a sound. Is this uh, going to revolutionize headphones? Yes, exactly. Yeah. You have a better sound quality with a smaller form factor. And, and uh, more immersive experience? Yes, exactly. More directional sound. Well, cool. Awesome. I definitely want to try that later. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. And there's a lot of other things. You have a wireless charging, for example. We also have uh, the same. We'll touch this line. Let's walk over there. And just, just, a, just a second. Uh, here it says something about the artificial intelligence. So, no problem. Uh, so, so uh, how, how do you uh, integrate AI in the uh, in the ST? There's all these uh, neural networks, ecosystems. Yeah. We can jump jump in there just after. Okay. Yeah. Just a just a second. Uh, let, let let me look over here. Over here, there's some something to do with the flight sense. Uh, right here. And some sense and touch display. All right. So, um, can you talk about this? Yes. So, do you have a sensor in water? Yeah. This is a waterproof pressure sensor. That's metallic. One. Yeah. So, no need to coat it, but it's uh, water resistant by default. Waterproof. Yeah, waterproof. By default. Yes. The whole board is. Did you coat the board, but yes. not the sensor? Exactly. Exactly like that. So it's water pressure. What what pressure? What pressure? It uh, resists up to ten bar, so you can swim with it without make a break it. So it's to show when you watch how deep you are, or what? Yes, also, or uh, it can work also in air. 
Okay, so you, uh, you use it as a standard pressure sensor, but you can use it for uh, waterproof devices as well. Right, so this is uh, also something to do with the touch display. This also. touch display? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's uh, meant for uh, industrial application. So uh, you can use a glove and, yes, and touch? Yes, you, you can use a glove and use uh, the touch in a harsh environment. With, uh, Great. Cool, thank you. Right, what are you showing there? What are we showing here? This is like how uh, NFC technology uh, is revolutionizing the supply chain of crystal. Maybe you can tell us about it. So what are you showing right here? So here we are showing uh, NFC smart tag. So it's a tag with different sensors that can control the environmental data. Uh, for example, during logistics. Yeah, can you hold it right here? So what, what is on here? So on here there is one uh, STM32 micro controller. There the is big one there. The big one there. There is uh, three uh, environmental sensors like 3D accelerometer, 3D magnetometer, humidity, temperature sensor, and also uh, nano pressure sensor. And, and around is uh, NFC or what? Uh, around is uh, the antenna and there is an NFC chip. So it's a dynamic tag, ST25DV. This is a dynamic tag which is used to communicate and to exchange data between uh, the sensors, in fact, and, and the, um, the smartphone. So All right. you want me to show the... Yeah. So what is, what is so, this? So this is emulating, yeah. this is emulating uh, some, some uh, environmental data that are changing during uh, transportation, for example. So here it's emulating the cold, cold temperature. So first I, I need to, uh, to set up my, my tag, saying that I will, I will check temperature, humidity, pressure, vibration every one second. So yeah. my system will sample every second, it will take some measurement. So now it take, it's measuring. Then I will emulate the shock. Right. This is the shock. Okay, so then I will emulate hot temperature. Yeah. yeah, hot temperature. So now it's, so it's, it's emulate like a transportation of goods. Then at the end, when my goods arrive, I can control um, what what happened during the transportation. So I read my own data, and then I can attack, print all the data. So we can see there is a lot of shocks and temperatures variation. So then I can decide if something happened during transportation. It's nice. used for cold chain, monitoring, and so on. So food, transportation? Food, yes, and cold chain, transportation, and containers. Ice cream. Ice cream. I don't want the ice cream to melt. <laughs> it's not good taste. Yes, so and thanks uh, of the NFC. Bananas, um, transportation, yeah. many things. Yeah, yes, the pet, exactly. <laughs> maybe the pet in the airplane to see if it was in Yeah, so you can put everything. All right. Thanks. Thanks. So let's have a look at uh, uh, artificial intelligence R&D project. So, maybe you can tell us a bit more about uh, ST and our artificial intelligence project. So, um, our approach regarding artificial intelligence is to propose to, uh, to customers the, the, the solution according to their needs. So we declare in three different segments. The first one is based on the STM42, yeah. and only on the STM42 when we integrate. Uh, what is this Cube MX AI? Cube MX AI is uh, development tools we use for STM42 application, and we we add to uh, Cube M yeah. MX, and then uh, uh, neural network layers, and the users has access immediately to those layer to those layer to implement an AI solution. That's an ARM Cortex, uh, Cortex M4 based uh, yeah. uh, microcontroller. Yeah. Yeah, it's and, but there's AI possible on this. Exactly. It's not an extra it's, chipset. It's so not extra. an extra chipset. It's only the so STM32. On, here, on example, the second solution, what we are proposing is... Right here? Yeah. Yeah. So on this solution, it's still uh, on, on an FPGA. Okay. So it's not yet to at silicon level. So it's emulating a future chipset. It's a, yeah, it's all R and D project. So, so it's a what next will happen in the future? Is it a microcontroller with AI? With AI, and if you want to reach a, a good level of performances, so basically 
with this application, we can, you can manage with a few classes, up to 10. With this application, with this IP, you can manage with hundreds of different classes. And with the last solution, yeah. you can go to thousands. Let's go over here. So, um, uh, this time right here. Uh, this is called the Deep Learning ST Orlando V1. Yeah. So, it's a, it's a deep convolutional neural network SOC. So, it's a, it's a SOC solution. It's a new SOC? It's a new SOC. It's right here. Yeah. Uh, and this, this one. This SOC, what is it? What is the SOC in here? Hey. Well, the SOC is uh, this. Uh, uh, is it a microcontroller? It's uh, a, 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 a no. SOC it's a, it's a um, heterogeneous uh, system based on uh, ST architecture that uh, uh, includes uh, hardware accelerator as well as uh, um, ST DSPs. Is it no arm or something uh, else? There is a, a M4, M4 arm that uh, is used for control all the system. And what is a useful neural network? What is the design for that, that part? Okay, uh, the networks uh, that we can deploy are uh, a var variety of different uh, topologies uh, and uh, training set. Uh, we vary from uh, the AlexNet uh, topology for uh, object classification yeah. to the um, tiny YOLO network that uh, can detect multiple uh, objects uh, on the scene and vary from uh, the, the scene evaluation, uh, face recognition and uh, face expression analysis as well as behavior analysis. So it says here 28 nanometers FDSOI um, SOC. Yes, for feel. deep convolutional neural networks, is this shipping or what? Is it the prototype or what is it? Oh, this is uh, an R&D prototype. First prototype of the SOC. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, okay, the, the the development of the product is uh, ongoing. Uh, ongoing. Ongoing. Uh, and uh, eventually, there will be microcontrollers with AI, with neural networks. But the AI is already yeah. implemented in uh, yeah. th this system. Uh, eventually, it can be connected to a central controller, yeah. uh, like a system of based How on so ARM. How many is this uh, chipset available on the market? Uh, I don't have a specific maybe uh, maybe de deadline yeah. for... Right. And this will be important for the mobile world? There will be a lot of uh, security cameras with AI? Or uh, this is um, meant for uh, uh, run uh, smoothly on uh, autonomous uh, systems, so for any mobile or uh, battery right. operated system. Cool, all right. It is okay. uh, meant for object detection uh, on a variety of applications. All right, and right here it says, um, so you have a lot of uh, uh, partners. This is an, an advanced R&D project. It's not yet a, yes, and that's R&D. A lot project. of interest at the show? Yes, a lot of people that is coming to ask for many different questions. Cool, okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Finally, one last one. Precise yeah. positioning are extremely precise uh, GNSS applications. So, Luis can tell you a bit more about that. Hey, so yes, hello. Is this more than GPS? More than GPS. So, it's GPS, GLONASS, Baidu, all the flavors, multi constellation for GNSS others. So, we're really targeting high accuracy with functional safety for automotive. How accurate? Uh, so we bring down to 20 centimeters accuracy to Sigma, so really high reliability behind this application for automakers, tier ones. So we're not targeting mass markets really for automotive with security. And here, there's a, it's, it looks like there's a chip that says Escape. It, it's like, no, Escape is a project. So it's, it's a project. Yes, we're announcing today, but Escape is already a research project funded by European Union to really bring the best of European companies. So our silicon is inside. Yeah. And so your chipset? It's chipset, exactly. And these companies, what they do? All the, uh, so this is a tier one integrating, yeah. and the group Renault is testing their vehicles for autonomous driving. So it's really going to help the self-driving car? It will to help. where they are? Yes, exactly. To locate them in the maps, in the HD maps, but after that, also bring security, because maps might have some errors, so absolute positioning brings the best accuracy and reliability. So uh, is it the STM32 or something else? No, it's different. Actually, you're lucky. So today, in about 10 minutes, will be announced 
world's first dual frequency multi constellation Genesat silicon. It's a different it's product. A new silicon. It's a new silicon, just targeting high accuracy, high safety applications. So my video is 19 minutes, so we have to wait until the 29th minute before you can say exactly what it is. No, no I can no, show can you. you we have a silicon. Yeah. Yes. So it's a new new chipset. Is a new chipset. microcontroller? No, no, it's a chipset for uh, GPS, so for positioning. Uh, that can provide multi-constellation, GPS, GLONASS, Baidu for the Chinese market, Indian market, Japanese, and of course European, Galileo, Europe. for Europe, bringing multi-constellation that brings down the accuracy to 20 centimeters. There is no other company doing Nobody this. Nobody do this on the Nobody. chip? No. Everybody else doing software or what? <clears throat> they bring uh, different software and they cannot bring... FPGA? Probably FPGAs, but they cannot bring safety, so ASIL. What is, silicon. what is ASIL? So it stands for a function safety. So accuracy and safety for automotive applications. And um, can you say if this is an ARM uh, Cortex-M? Yes, so our silicon, actually I have here the picture. Yeah. You can see it, so it's been real, real here. <coughs> it's uh, this one, Tesio 5. Can you hold it up to my yeah, hand? Exactly. So it's this one. Which one? This one, Tesio yeah. 5. So it's an M7 base. M7, correct. What and is a hyperbus? Um, there's a different communication for this uh, silicon. And if you want also the functional safety, then it's the APP, this one. So it's the same, multi-constellation, multi-frequency. And this is a differentiation for uh, functional safety. So the name of it is TZO. TZO. What does TZO mean? TZO is actually a mythical Greek uh, <clears throat> figure that helped people navigate to known areas. Nice. And it's like the guy the, on the boat, on the ship. Exactly. Something, exactly. Yeah? exactly. Something like that. And then we're using TZ is old family already. We are actually very innovative since the 1990s, end of 1990s. Single frequency, single constellation. And now all together, multi-constellation, multi-frequency for high accuracy. Why, why is a box uh, this size? Is it because it's uh, for automatic, you need a big big thing? Uh, you yes. Can make a smaller one too? Well, we definitely. The silicon. The silicon is actually very small, just less than one centimeter by one centimeter. Can this be in a in a child tracker or something? Definitely, it could be. We're targeting automotive. It can be, it can be in a watch, definitely. It can be where? It, it can, can be, be in many a different applications, a smartphone for instance. Pet, pet tracker? A pet tracker, but here for high accuracy and safety, we're targeting mostly automotive. Automotive is most important? It's the most important because... Maybe military? I don't know about the military, military, but for automotive, definitely that's our right. target. And we're the first ones doing this. All right. Yeah. And how soon is it uh, mass production, mass deployment? This is all for very soon in automotive, you mean two, three years time. So SOP yeah. 2021, we work with uh, all the German automakers, uh, tier one, so it's point production. All right. Okay. Thanks okay, a lot. Thank you very much. All right. That was great. Okay. So thanks a lot for this. Uh, so it's busy show. Very Global busy. Congress. Very busy show. Yeah. And... Uh, Hopefully, we'll see you again next year as well. I'm going right now to the Embedded World, so that's a whole other bunch World, of demos, so right? You'll see this lots, the Fan Zone, the STM32, some automotive demos, some NFC. There's lots of things to see over there. So have a good trip to Nuremberg, and uh, nice to see you. Thanks a lot. Cheers.